morning and welcome, I think we're on Sunday the 29th of November and it is our first Sunday of Advent. Woo! Does anybody know what the first Sunday of Advent is? Right, well, we'll come back to that later. Have a think about it. I just want to say a huge thank you to Liam and Joe for last week when I wasn't very well. They did, don't you think they did an absolutely fantastic job? So thank you very much, Liam and Joe. Liam is with us this morning. So thinking about Advent, have you got your Advent calendar? I've got a Haribo one, which I'm really pleased about. I love Haribos. So I've got a Haribo. But what is that all about? Why do we have an Advent calendar? And what does Advent mean to you and to me? We've got lots of questions again today. And we're going to go and do our action song for this week. And our action song for this week, it says about Jesus, that there's only one way to him, and that's by living by faith. And Jesus, he brings us so much hope. So here we go. We're going to do some actions to one way Jesus. We'll be ready. I lay my life down at your feet The only one I need I turn to you when you are always there Troubled times, it's you I seek. I put you first, that's all I need. I humble all I am to you. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I can live for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I can live for. Always, always there Every how and everywhere Your grace about so deeply within me You will never ever change Yesterday, today the same Forever till forever meets no end One way Jesus, you're the only one that I could live for. One way, Jesus, you're the only one that I could live for. You are the way, the truth, the life. We live by faith and not by sight for you. We're living all for you. You are the way, the truth, the life We live by faith and not by sight For you, we're living all for you One way, Jesus You're the only one that I could live for One way, Jesus you're the only one that I can live for One way, Jesus You're the only one that I can live for One way, Jesus You're the only one that I can live for Wow, well done. I think we should give Liam and Steve a big round of applause. Thank you very much. So, one way, Jesus. And our theme of, have you guessed it yet? I did give you a little clue before we did the song. So I'm going to read from Luke 1, 26 to 38. But it's a shortened version because it's from the big Bible storybook. And it says, a message for Mary. I'm out of breath now, I've been dancing around. Mary was busy at her house. She was soon going to be married to Joseph. And there was so much to do. Mary was very excited about the wedding. Suddenly, she looked up 
an angel was standing there. Mary was surprised. She'd never seen an angel before. Have you seen an angel? I don't think I've ever seen an angel. The angel says, don't be frightened, Mary. I have brought you an important message. God has chosen you to have a very, very special baby. The baby boy will be God's own son. Mary was puzzled. But what about our wedding, she asked. The angel smiled. She says, don't worry. God knows all about it. Then the angel disappeared. Mary thought about the message the angel had brought. God's son would soon be born. And she had been chosen to be his mother. How amazing! That's a song I've I've discovered since recording these that I use quite a lot. Mary sang happily as she worked. What would Joseph say when he heard her news? Wow! Wow! It's a very exciting beginning of a story. I've had two children. It takes a long, long time to have a baby. And the wait can be really hard because you're really excited about this baby. So how long did they have to wait? An awful long time. And it's about learning to be patient and waiting, waiting for things. What have you had to wait for? Sometimes I get fed up just waiting for my dinner to cook if I'm hungry. There's lots of things that we have to wait for. And why do you think God wanted to go to so much trouble? And he was telling people to get ready for the birth of Jesus. And when we have babies, they don't just appear and everything's there, like the cot and all the clothes. We have to think about it and get prepared. And this is what Advent is all about. It's about waiting and it's about preparing for the coming of Jesus. So what does Advent mean? I think I've just told you. It's about waiting and preparing. It's about waiting for the coming of Jesus and getting ready. So during Advent, that is about preparing and thinking about Jesus. So in the style of Blue Peter, here's one I've made earlier. I have sent out the template um, and we're going to do this. So the first week, this is this week, this is hope. So you don't have to, you can make it all at once if you like, but if not, you could make each candle and stick it on each different week. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So I've already pre-prepared painting my, the, the, well, it's a play, paper plate, so we've got that, and then afterwards you can stick some green tissue paper on it. So we've got... I think for this week, hope. I've already coloured them in as well because otherwise we'd be here all day. So you can do yours afterwards. So what I did is I've stuck on, just glue one side of it and then turn it. So this is our first candle hope for this week. And then I've also cheated and I've got some little sticky dot things to... Oh dear, the glue's not very good this week. It worked yesterday. I've got some double-sided little sticky dot things to make my life easier. If it comes off, come off. There we go. And we're going to stick them on there. So that'll be our first week this week, thinking about hope. And then as you go through the week, so you can, as I said, you can make it all in one go and look at it. You can either hang it up or have it on your table. My flames, I have risk assessed it, my flames are coming out of the top of the candles. So yes, we've got the hope. So thinking about hope. How can we bring hope to others? Because Jesus just brings us such hope. So this week, let's think about how we can bring hope to others. And the second week, we've got peace as well. How can we bring peace in our community during Advent? And how can we bring joy and does that, do you know why we've got a pink candle I haven't I didn't run out of ink at all it's because it's Mary's candle and how can we love each other so there's lots of things for you to think about this month so thinking about bringing hope to others bringing peace in our world and community in schools and homes and work and also how can we bring joy to others 
especially if they're sad. If you see somebody that's sad, how, we can't go and give them a hug at the moment. So how can we bring joy? A big smile would really help. And how can we love each other as well? So I think we're going to close with a prayer for hope, peace, joy, and love. I, I don't know whether I'm going to teach you the prayer drill this week. Liam, we've, we've done the Lord's Prayer twice, so I'm going to che- che- teach you prayer drill. Are you ready? So we go one, two, close our eyes for three, and bow our heads for four. So are you ready? We'll try that. One, two, three, four. God, thank you that you love us. Thank you that you sent your son, Jesus. Thank you that we can bring hope, peace, joy and love to others and help us to show us how we can bring hope, peace, love and joy to others. And thank you, Jesus, that you came and brought love, hope, peace and joy to us. Amen. I think we should carry on Liam's and Joe's roll of amen. Are you ready? Amen. Well, I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye.